Well, the three things that helped me with beach volleyball, I took to show my respect for the sport, there's three things I wanted to do so people couldn't come back at me. One, play in a tournament. So I played the Manhattan Beach Open. I was 47 years old. And I played against T Jake, Jake Rosner and TK, uh, a cola, uh, with Tyler Lucas. We got work, sweet Jesus, we got work. But we put up 16 in the second set. But the point is, I put him, I gave him my respect, I showed up. They gave me mine too because I never got served. Um, second thing I wanted to do was coach a player that eventually became an AFP champ, AV, AVP champ. So Rafu, Rodriguez, Kevin McCulloch, I was working for them to help prep. They were helping each other prep for Manhattan Beach. They made the draw. And the contenders bracket, they won six straight matches before they got, they got ousted. But later on, Rafa became the MVP champ. The third thing I wanted to do was get a team, coach a team into the main draw. So this way, if I'm in the player's tent, like any notion that would, anything that would make me feel like an imposter is gone. You know, but I never feel that way anyway. Travis Muritter said something like that. He's like, you know, after I made the main draw three, three times, I finally felt like I wasn't an imposter in a tent because this, this feeling like you're not good enough to be around everybody. Um, for me, that was just a fail safe because I, for me, my, um, I don't know, ar not ar arrogance or self, self um, confidence allows me to believe I belong everywhere. So I don't go, I don't go into a player's tent and, and feel like I don't belong there. I feel like I belong everywhere. I, never, I don't shrink in certain environments. I become a little smaller, maybe if I need to fly under the radar, but at no time when I was in that tent did I feel like I didn't belong, you know? But when you get a team in the qualifier, what are they gonna say? They, they're not gonna say that you, you were already coaching a team that was a champion. They're not gonna say you, already, you were gifted this spot by people that already play the game that can go kick rocks, <laughs> right? <laughs> you, you, did it, you, you, you did it the hard way. And, thank, and I'm eternally grateful for Jake and Earl for just coming to me and say we tried that we we tried to hit this draw, this main draw five times. What are we doing wrong? You know, I told I was like, come here, come closer, get a coach. <laughs> you young fuckers, man. You think you're right? You, you you've been doing it. You get so good so fast. You think you get it all figured out, and now you're in the you're you're getting beat by 15 year olds. Remember we were talking about Miles Partain? Yes. Yeah, I'm like, both of you guys jump higher than him. You both hit harder than him. You're both more athletic than him. And yet, there he is. You know, and there you are. And it's not like he crewed up. He didn't crew up to, to make them. He didn't have Phil, right, to help him get into the draw. He did it with his brother, who was 17, no less. So, so yeah, I told him to get a coach. You know? so, and you taught him a few things, and they made him a draw. That's, that's all volleyball. It, you, it's what we were getting at this entire, this entire cast, Wendy. It's about c conquering demons from the neck up. So it's true. about conquering demons from the neck up.